Well, it's a new year and the big game is coming up in Arizona and one lucky hometown winner won a fitness challenge and that hometown winner is going to go to the big game. John DeShulo has more. Last fall, Independent Health kicked off the Buffalo Bills Health and Wellness Challenge, resulting in thousands of entrants who posted almost 10,000 hours of exercise, consuming 80,000 servings of fruits and vegetables and gallon after gallon of water. Recently, a random draw from the entrants who took the fitness challenge was made, and the winner, a fitness instructor herself from the South Towns Y, Hamburg's own Susan Zidell. While Susan works to motivate others, she and her husband motivated each other to shed pounds for prizes and hers is a big one. I, um, yes, I've always struggled with my weight. Um, I've always been active, I like to be active, but the more weight you have on, the harder it is to be active. So, you know, yes, I wanted to lose weight again. I've done it many times. Um, it was time again um, to lose weight and uh, this challenge helped me pursue that. And you had your husband as a motivator because he was involved in his own challenge. Yes, um, his work ran a biggest, biggest loser type challenge and uh, we did it together. And actually I won and he came in second place of that challenge. And I just happened to sign up for this challenge because my boss here told me about it. And I'm like, hey, you know, she even said, hey, maybe you'll win a prize. You know, they were giving away footballs and jerseys and tickets to a game. I never thought I'd win the Super Bowl trip. Never, never crossed my mind. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a good um, added incentive with the Biggest Loser Challenge. So, but that challenge itself, you don't have to lose weight on it. It's just um, easy things you can do, like drinking water, eating your fruits and vegetables, exercising 30 minutes. It wasn't this crazy challenge, so anybody can do it, and if they're gonna run it again. So people should sign up for it. Independent Health President and CEO, Dr. Michael Kropp, is proud of Susan and her accomplishments, and encourages everyone to live up to their resolutions to maintain a healthy lifestyle. I mean, it's all about, doing things reasonably and portion control. You don't have to take away everything. I think you and I spoke a few years ago about, you know, I have this passion for chocolate. I was going to bring that up, doctor, <laughs> but I thought maybe I shouldn't. But the fact that you did, I'll ask you, I'll, I'll hold you to that. Yeah. So you so you like chocolate. I, I like carbs. I like french fries. Yeah. How do you create, how do you handle those cravings? You know what? Um, I often now substitute almonds or a piece of fruit or something else for the chocolate that I used to consume more than I should have. <laughs> I still eat it once in a while and it's okay, you know, everything in moderation, but it's a matter of, you know, making sure you've got the right balance in what you eat and making sure that you're active. You know, an activity doesn't mean that you have to be at the gym and on the treadmill working out. Not a bad thing to do. Though. It's a great thing to do, but not everybody has the time or the ability to do it. There are simple things that people can do. I mean, studies have shown that just walking for 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes twice a day, can make a huge difference in your health status. The amount of change that's going on here in healthcare is certainly spectacular, and. Um, the capabilities that we have and that are building in this community to provide world-class care is just something that who would have thought in our lifetime we would have seen it come together in this way. It's very exciting. And finally, we'll leave it at this because we want to cheer on the Buffalo Bills. We want to cheer on Susan going to the Super Bowl. Uh, and you want to cheer on people to continue to, to stay focused with their, with their fitness challenge. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. The season, you know, may have ended for the Bills, but the season never ends for this challenge. You know, there is an opportunity for each of us to make a commitment to either help ourselves or help somebody that we love kind of move forward and improve their personal health. John DeShulo for Talk of the Town. Well, <clears throat> who's who your, your pick? Oh, who's my pick? <laughs> who's, who's your, your pick? pick? Oh, quite frankly, I'm, I'm, uh, I think it's a shame both teams can't lose, but... <laughs> oh, oh, well, I want the guys wearing the uniforms to win. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that nails it down. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for watching Talk of the Town, and thank you for watching WVBZ. We uh, appreciate you being with us, and we will see you next time.